Okay, so this is Sunday. Um, it's Sunday, and I'm, I'm actually going to edit the vlogs now, the backlog that I have the last couple days. Um, I'm feeling um, kind of better. Uh, I'm still in pain somewhat. I'm still on pain medication, um, but I actually feel like... Um, I'm feeling a little better. I got a little pimple right here from my, because I, I sleep apnea, so my mask is a little hurting a little bit. It's like going against there. But other than that, I, I already see weight loss. I'm already lost like I don't know, like a lot of a lot of weight actually so far, which is kind of weird. Um, and it, and I'm drinking like a little over a half gallon of water a day, so I can't exactly see how it's water weight. I think it's because they said it speeds up your metabolism when you when you get your stomach, you know, and that happens to your stomach. So. Um, I feel actually pretty, pretty decent. I was able to sleep on my side last night for the first time without too much pain. Um, I'm still fighting some mucus buildup, like my, my sinuses and my, uh, were leaking into my chest, so I had like a post nasal drip, and it's still kind of in my chest a little bit. Um, the nurse called me on Friday and said, "Hey, you better not let that get in there because it can cause pneumonia." So a little worried about that, but. Um, I'm drinking tons of fluids. I have my have my water right here. Um, put some lemon in there for some, you know, for some uh, for some uh, just a little bit of flavor. Um, and I'm drinking stuff like Bi Water and Propel, which I don't like Propel too much. It's too too sweet, and even watered down tastes too artificial. Um, but I found that um, today I had my first. Um, I had a yogurt today, a Greek yogurt, which was really good. It was coconut, coconut flavored Greek yogurt, and for the probiotics, and it's actually really good. Um, it went down pretty well. Um, you know, it's a slow, slow but steady pace. Tomorrow I get to actually start eating some soups. So, you know, um, not chunky soup, but like bisques, stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna have to put Laura to work tomorrow because I think we're gonna go see her tomorrow, and then she's going to, uh, we're gonna have to get some soup. Or she's gonna make me some soup. Hopefully she makes it for me. Cause I want I've, I, the two soups I really wanted were tomato bisque and lobster bisque. They're my two favorites. So um, they're gonna be creamy soups. They're good. And considering that I'm only getting like you know three to four hundred calories a day right now, uh, my body's gonna definitely like something to kind of fuel up my my muscles and stuff. I'm trying to get protein too. Um, but yeah. So that's that's the gist of my of my uh, my progress so far. Um, I, again, I feel pretty good today. I'm, I'm wearing shirts. I put on a shirt last night that I couldn't wear since like before I met Brie. So it's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of weird that this is fast. And I didn't expect it to be this fast because I was on a two week fast beforehand, which, you know, should take off water weight and all that stuff. Uh, actually it was three weeks because my surgery got delayed for a week, which was very disheartening. Very, very disheartening. Um, because I, I fasted for two weeks. That was during my birthday. And, um, you know, it, it was kind of stinky because I couldn't really celebrate my birthday but regardless um, you know it, it's definitely uh, been a process and I'm seeing I'm seeing results already which is which is awesome it's been painful um, and you know I don't know if uh, Brie told you this or if I told you this in the past few days because I've been under some pain medication but <laughs> you're getting loopy my G today um, but the doctor actually said that I was one of the, I'm on, I'm on record for one of the biggest stomachs, if not the biggest stomach he's ever removed, which is crazy, crazy. Or, you know, he cut out, obviously, you know, it's like cut, you know, half, or three quarters of it, whatever. Um, and he said that um, he couldn't believe how, how big my stomach was. And he said, that's why all these years I've had an uphill battle with, with, with battling, you know, food, you know, eating, because my stomach is never full. It's just so big. I have to eat so much more than a normal person just to even get that feeling of, you know, hey, my body got enough in me, which is crazy. It's just, so there's a lot working against me. You know, I had, like I said, I, I'm, I'm being full disclosure here. I had sleep apnea and um, my thyroid uh, was all messed up with my metabolism. And, um, you know, now that I knew I had the big stomach, like the big, not the big physical stomach, but the big stomach inside, not my belly, but my stomach. Um, it really was kind of crazy to hear that, that I had all these factors kind of working against me. And, um, you know, I've really fought hard. Like last year I came out of the, I came out of last year 
losing more weight than I gained. I mean, losing more weight than anything. So I actually lost, for my heaviest weight, I think I'm down like, I want to say close to 70 pounds, which is insane. And that was two years ago, my heaviest weight. So, um, and, you know, I'm doing pretty good. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm really, you know, I... Uh, Laura came over yesterday and brought, uh, the day before and brought, uh, she didn't eat all day and she brought a hoagie with her from Wawa and, um, she was like, you don't mind if I eat this in front of you, do you? And it was the first thing that somebody really ate in front of me other than brew eating like salads, which is whatever. And I, it was one of the kind of sandwiches that I liked and I was like, nah, whatever. And then she ate it and I didn't really feel like I wanted it. I was like, whatever, it's a sandwich and I don't care. I'm eating my stuff. I'm full. I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm drinking my stuff. I'm full. I'm good. You know, I don't really have a want for that stuff. I mean, there are some cravings that I get every now and then, uh, which is kind of weird, but, um, you know, I just know that I can have them eventually, but just little bits, and I'll be full, which is kind of good a good feeling, because I hated eating so much. I, I really, really did. I really hated eating so much. And it was like, you know, my stomach's so big that I'm trying to fill a tank that is bigger than everybody else's, so I always had to eat more, and it was more calories. So that's kind of what, what my boat was. That, that, that was the boat that I was running on. A lot of fun, let me tell you. It's been a process and I'm pretty happy and, um, you know, am I gonna miss doing things that normal people can do? Yeah, but guess what? I'm gonna be normal again eventually and this is giving me a new lease on life. The doctors told me it literally added at least, at least minimum 10 years on my life, which is awesome because that means I get to bother you guys more often. Deal with that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, you know, um, Knowing that I extended my life and I can have kids now, you know, I can chase kids around because, you know, now I'm actually walking and stuff. Like, it feels good. And I'm having, you know, I'm, I'm glad I took off this time because I need to heal. I, I was like, you know, I should get back to work. You know, I should work within a week, you know. I should get back to work this Wednesday coming up, whatever. But no, I'm glad I took off two weeks because I need to heal. I need, there's a lot of healing that needs to be done um, physically. Uh, mentally, I feel good, but physically, there's a lot of healing that needs to be done, um, you know, to make myself ready to go for prime time. So, um, other than that, I'm kind of worried because I gotta, I'm gonna have to buy a new suit for work because my suit's like, you know, ten size. So, <laughs> it's funny saying that. My suit's actually really big. So, um, it, it was, it was made for a 50 pound heavier me, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good feeling and I'm happy and, you know, hopefully you guys will see the progress. Um, you may not see it now because, you, you know, you see me, you probably watch my vlogs a lot, but um, you'll see it, you know, probably in the next three months by, by Memorial Day. I'll be having a cheeseburger uh, without bread and a half of one, <laughs> uh, but I'll be able to do it. And, you know, I won't feel bad about it because guess what? It's all about moderation. It's not about, you know, um, having, gorging yourself with all this food. It's about having good food, good quality food, and enjoying it, and doing it slowly, and enjoying smaller amounts, which I'm so happy about, because I don't want to have to eat big amounts of food to feel full anymore. I'm looking forward to eating, sharing a plate with Brie, and only eating a quarter of it, and letting her eat the rest of it. <laughs> I know that's weird, but I'm looking forward to that, actually. So, I can't wait to put the good foods in my body so I can keep my body cleaned out and happy. I can't eat any vegetables yet, not for another two weeks or maybe three weeks, um, but I'm looking forward to veggies too. Um, so, yeah, it's going good guys, and I'm so happy that you guys, I'm serious, like, I'm really happy that you guys, um, you know, taking the time to uh, show me some love, because it's, it's, uh, it means a lot, it really does. And I keep reading over comments again um, from you guys that, you know, you guys are giving me such good stuff. So, um, especially on Instagram, I, I comment back on Instagram a lot. YouTube, I comment back on too and I read. Uh, but Brie actually helped me out with that a lot more because it's hard for me to sit up for too long because I, I can't really do it on my phone as much. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm very happy and I love all you guys. And thank you for coming along with me on this process. I really appreciate it. Um, it's such a life changing process and if I can help any of you guys with this process or if you have any questions about it, you know, let me know. I'm, you know, I, I, I'm an open book. And like I said, I wasn't going to tell anybody about this. Um, I was just going to do it and, you know, be like all these other people out there in this world that don't tell anyone and just go and be shady about it and do it. But that's not me. That's not how I am. 
I want to be, I'm, I'm like everybody's little brother and big brother all at the same time. I want to be here to help and I want to be here, you know, to be your best friend all the time. So, um, that's my goal and, um, you know, I'm here to do whatever I can to make that happy. So, let's keep on doing this together. Keep on keeping on. Um, follow me, subscribe to me, whatever you want to do to keep up with me. Um, and I'll keep up with you. If you comment or if you, you know, come on Instagram and, and, and talk to me, you know, whatever, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be there talking back. So, um, you know, show me some love. I'll show you love. A lot of love going around. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the support. And it doesn't mean I don't need any more of it because I definitely do. It's, it's still going to be a process. So, um, anyway, I'll send more updates maybe tomorrow or the next day, maybe even in a couple days just because, you know, there's a lot of time between and I got to get fine shots anyway. So, soon we'll be getting some crazy stuff. You'll be seeing some crazy stuff. All right? Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Hey, what's up, guys? Feel free to like my videos and subscribe. And also hit me up on social media. I really appreciate it.